Hi, this is Paul. Before I start this video about Jonathan Majors, can you please hit the like and subscribe button? I truly appreciate it. Um, he was found guilty today. You know, he had his trial. I think he was charged with four counts, and he was convicted of assault and harassment. And I think February 6th is when his sentencing is, and I know that people are saying that he could get maybe up to a year in prison, but I don't think he had a previous record, so I don't know if he's going to really get any jail time for this. It depends, I guess, what the prosecutor wants to do. Us to, and I guess he could still appeal the uh, verdict, can't he? I assume he could do that. But anyway, the main thing is he got uh, found guilty of the two, two of the four charges, and Mario fired him. They fired him. They say he will no longer be playing. Kenny the Copper, and I think his agency dropped him officially, I think, now, which is, again, like I said, I feel one of two ways about it. Uh, you, you know, I mean, you kind of have to kind of separate the artist from the art, because <laughs> you know he's a good actor. Uh, but he got found guilty, and Marvel has to look at their bottom line, I guess, you know, whether people will go see these movies if he's in it, because he's got, con he's got convicted of this. Now, if you, you know, he found been found not guilty of all these charges, I think they then they would have kept him, but since he was found guilty of two of the four charges, even though I think two of these charges are the lesser of the four charges, they still have a, basically a public relations nightmare, so they fired him. And there's a part of me that feels sorry for him because, like I said, you know, you figure his career was like on the upswing and he was like rising up, you know, to be like a real major star. And then this thing came along, this incident came along, and that's it, and now it seems like his career is basically over. And it's and it's a shame, you know. I, I do believe in giving people second chances. Uh, so that's there's a part of me that kind of hopes that he does come back. You know, once he gets his life together and and straighten things out, maybe take, I don't know if he has to take anger management, or whatever uh, thing course you may have to take. But I I do kind of hope that he. There's a part of me that hopes that he does can make a comeback, you know, maybe he can, that he won't totally be blackballed. Um, what was the other, uh, I can't remember the guy, uh, the black actor who did the movie, but the slave movie, uh, uh, Turner, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but Nat Turner, who the guy, I forgot the actor, what his name is, who played Nat Turner. And, you know, he remember he wrote, he wrote and directed that movie. And then it came out later that, and when he was in college, that the girl, his girlfriend that was going out with him, they accused him and his, I think his roommate of assault. And I think he got found not guilty, the actor who played Nat Turner, and then, but his roommate got convicted. And then the the girl that got assaulted, she wound up killing herself. And this actor was basically blackballed, blackballed right out of Hollywood. Like I say, even though he was found not guilty, he was blackballed right out of Hollywood. And his career is... Is he basically, a, yeah, he got blackballed out of Hollywood. You don't even hear about that actor. I can't remember his name who played Nat Turner. Hold on. I can't remember. Let me look it up real quick. Because, uh, but he got, he got basically blackballed. Let's see, actor who played Nat Turner. Nate Parker, that's his name. Nate Parker. He, he basically got blackballed right out of Hollywood. And so you think, you know, Jonathan Majors, you would hope that he wouldn't get totally blackballed out of Hollywood, but because you see other ac other actors have gone through you know, stuff, like you got Mel Gibson, who went through his thing, and Mel Gibson's career has never really been the same uh, since that, you know, the whole anti-Semitic rant that he went on. Uh, and, and then, you know, Johnny Depp's, his whole thing, what I ever heard, even though a lot of people were on Amber, uh, Johnny Depp's side, ultimately his career is not is, is really not the same. You, you should see Johnny Depp in all kinds of movies, but now you don't see him as much. In, and I can't even remember the last movie that Johnny Depp was in. I think the last movie that he was in was one of those uh, uh, Murder on the Already Express, the remake. I think that was the last movie that I remember seeing him in. I think that was the last movie, but Johnny Depp's career hasn't been the same. And see, uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s career, all that stuff, remember he used to get into trouble. He got arrested, I think he even got sent to jail. But all that stuff happened before social media. Uh, that stuff with uh, Robert Downey Jr., all that stuff happened with him before social media was really the, what it is now. So I think that's 
kind of helped him. And then he, you know, he went to jail. Then he actually came out, and then somebody gave him a chance. Uh, so I kind of hope that Jonathan Majors does get another chance. That's just my personal opinion. I hope he does, you know, get a second, you know, second chance at it. And because, uh, like I said, I think he is a talented actor. Like I said, his personal life. As long as he's getting help for what you know, if he got anger management issues, I don't know. Like I know all these rumors came out when, you know, when he was first charged. There's all these people came out of the work, work, all these anonymous sources saying, "Oh, he did this and then that," but you know, nothing ever came of it. But I hope for his sake, like I said, he got his agency dropped him, and it's, it really is a shame that he, your career is basically gets wiped out. And like I said, Nate Parker got completely blackballed. You don't even see Nate Parker anywhere. I don't even know. I could even look him up at IMBD and see if he's even doing anything. Nate Parker. I think he got he got basically blackballed out of the industry because of that thing. Because in that case, I think it was more serious because even though he was not found guilty, his roommate was, and then a lot of people felt that uh, that maybe he had something to do with because his roommate. Trent, will we had a base here. Yeah. I think a lot of people still felt that he, and plus the girl committed suicide, which I think was, which was another thing, that whole nother level of this, this, uh, that really got people, you know, that really turned people off, that he got, you know, that this girl committed suicide. So, you know, that wasn't something that was a he said, she said thing. That was something that really happened and it affected this girl so much that she killed herself. And that's why people, you know, that's why I think he just got, he became uh, like radioactive and nobody wanted to touch Nate Parker anymore, which is a shame because like I can say he was a, a good actor, but that, that was a real life thing where the girl killed herself literally over this assault that happened to her. That she claimed it happened to her and that she couldn't deal with it even after all those years. And like I said, he is he's basically black Paul because I don't even see I don't even see his, uh, I'm looking at his IBND. I think the, the last thing they say he did was in 2020, like a short or something, but he's been effectively blackballed out of Hollywood. Like I said, you don't see Nate Parker anywhere. And so I, I hope Jonathan Majors doesn't have the same thing happen to him. I hope he, he can uh, bounce back, which is going to be hard. Like I said, AC fired him, he got fired by major studios. So the only way I think he can come back if somebody takes a chance on him, and maybe somebody like James Gunn, maybe James Gunn down the road will say, we'll give him a chance. Uh, that's the only way I can see it happening. Other than that, he could be effectively blackballed out of the industry, which is a, which is a shame. Like I said, and like I said, if he assaulted this woman, if he got found convicted of it, then he has to pay the price. <laughs> you know, of it that that's to say you you know you found guilty by a jury of peers, and but. It's a shame because he, like I said, his career was on the rise, and he was like one of the top actors in Hollywood. And then, Zen, like I said, you got to be careful about what you do and the way you handle your business. And and he's basically, I think, effectively been blackballed out of Hollywood, unless, like I said, somebody takes a chance on him. Somebody will take a chance. That's the only way I think it can work. If somebody will take a chance on him, somebody has to take a a gamble on him and see if that way if his career can be resurrected. But if not, then He's going to be another one of those add to the list of people that got effectively blackballed out of Hollywood because of their personal actions. So there's that. So anyway, um, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, again, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. Also, in the description box, I have links to my uh, Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. I also have a link down below to my main channel, Trade Passer, as well. Also, I've linked down below to my Patreon. Again, my Patreon's only five dollars a month. I have tons of content on there, unedited content, movies. TV shows, Marvel and DC, Gen V on there as well. Follow the link down below to check it out. Also, please hit, uh, give this video a thumbs up. Also, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload new content to this channel. And this is Paul saying so long. Take care.